Hey everyone, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. What I'm going to go over today is how to add a background to your eCover, or if you're whatever you're creating, if you want to have kind of a background design or a background image of some sort, um, how to load that in. So, what you can see here is that we have this red, nice kind of design. And it really adds so much to uh, the professionalism of a cover. Because if I turn that off, you can see it's pretty bland. All right, we have really nice uh, text and, and a cool image. You know, our little professional-looking barcode and text. But really, it just ups the, the wow factor by so much by adding a nice background design or image. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this layer. I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to show you how to add one in. Go to File, Open as Layers, and navigate to the image that you want for your background. And open. As you can see, my image is not big enough to fill the whole area. I just also want to explain that the image should basically be behind everything except your very your background. So right now it's about third in line, which is almost correct, but you can see that the barcode is hidden. So what you need to do is select your image and use the down arrow to bring it down to the second position. You can see as you bring it up, things start to disappear because it's being moved in front of these elements. So just, you know, this is kind of an added instruction thing about layers here, that your order is shown in the layers window here. So it's very easy to see where your images need to be as far as order. Um, if you have kind of a... Uh, uh, just a design image like this all you need to do is check out your image dimension so my image you just go to image scale image it's 550 in width by 500 height so I'll just go make sure my back image is selected go to layer scale layer and since I don't really care about skewing this image because it's you know it's not, no, it's not a photograph of a person or a place and it's just a design, I can un I can separate the width and height and scale it to exactly the size of this image. So 550 by 500 scale. And you'll see there I have a scaled background layer and my cover is now looking a lot better than it did a few seconds ago. Um, if you want to maintain the proportion of your background image, just choose wh whichever one is bigger, the width or the height. In our case, it's the width, it's 550, the height is 500. I can go to layer, scale layer, and keeping this together, I can type 550 and click scale. <coughs> now if I maximize this, you'll see that the background image actually goes over the image. Uh, dimensions. You see that the uh, actually goes down here. You can see the the guide showing me that not all of my picture is showing. Well, I don't really care because it's just a background design, so nobody knows that it's not the whole image. But that's two ways of doing this. So uh, that's how you add a nice background design to your cover. And we went ahead and loaded those into eCover Software Pro. And uh, these are the examples that we have here using these images that we created. And if you have any questions, please email us at support at ecoversoftwarepro.com. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day.